Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to see who is a DevOps engineer and how you can become a DevOps engineer. And I will go very basic step by step so you will get everything from scratch. I had created part one earlier where we have discussed about the DevOps career roadmap. I will add the link to part one in the description of this video. Now today we are going to focus on who is a DevOps engineer and how you can become one. Now, generally we say that a DevOps engineer is a person who has visibility in all the stages, all the phases of a project. So in a, any typical project, we start with planning and after that we have the build stage, then we have the testing phase or the testing stage, then we have the deployment and the maintenance and monitoring stage. So a DevOps engineer will have visibility in all these stages and he will know the process being followed in each of these phases and the tools being used in each of these phases and by each of the team of this project. Now, there is a very uh, important question here that can there be a person who is expert in all the stages, all the phases and knows all the tools uh, used by each and every team of the project? Now I will answer this question at the end of this video. Can there be a person, can there be a single person who is expert in all these phases or will there be different people for different stages? So here, let us start with a DevOps engineer role. Who is a DevOps engineer? A DevOps engineer is a person who has visibility in all the stages of the project or all the phases of the project. Now, starting with the build stage, we normally start with the planning stage and the DevOps engineer has visibility in the process of the planning phase as well. But let us look at these four major and basic stages in any project. So starting with the build stage, a DevOps engineer will have knowledge about the dev process being followed in the project. What is the programming language used? He will have a uh, knowledge of that programming language. Uh, in case Linux is being used, he will have knowledge the basic fundamental knowledge of the Linux system, operating system and the commands. He will understand and know the scripting language in case any uh, scripting language is used or any uh, bash execution scripts are being used. Uh, he will know all the dev tools being used in the dev team, the build tools like Maven, Gradle, etc. cetera. Uh, so he will have visibility and knowledge of all these processes and the tools. So. Here, in case we are using CI/CD, and which is a very important uh, part in a DevOps process, a CI/CD platform or a CI/CD tool, he will have knowledge of that as well. So it can be tools like Jenkins, Circle CI, or it can be build tools like Maven, Gradle, etc. It can be configuration management tools. It can be SCM tools like Git and uh, CI/CD, GitLab, etc. So a DevOps person will have information and knowledge of all these processes and tools being used in the coding or the build stage. Now coming to the testing phase, a DevOps person will have knowledge about the testing process. What are the platforms being used? What are the tools being used? If we are creating or scripting our test cases in some particular platform or tool, he will understand that. In case we are using any automation uh, projects or frameworks or tools, he will have knowledge of that. The command line executions, he will have knowledge of that as well. So he will have knowledge of all the testing platforms being used, command line executions, bug tracking tools or platforms being used, any frameworks if we are using. So based on the tools or the processes being used in the testing team, he will have knowledge of that. He or she will have knowledge about this phase as well. Coming to the deployment phase, here, the DevOps engineer will understand the de deployment process, how the de deployment process is done, what are the stages of the deployment process, what are the tools we are using for deployment, are we using any configuration tools, are we using any provisioning tools, uh, what is the uh, configuration management process looks like, in case we are using any containers like Docker or in case we are using any orchestration tools like Kubernetes, he or she will have knowledge about all these processes and tools. So they can be uh, AWS, Azure, Chef, Puppet, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes. So all these processes and tools which are being used in the project, a DevOps engineer will have knowledge about all of these. Now coming to the maintenance or the monitoring phase. And here, the DevOps engineer will have information and knowledge about the feedback process that after we release the application, uh, how do we 
get the feedback how can we check the logs or uh, how can we check the production logs and based on that how can we take other actions he will have knowledge about the monitoring tools how do we monitor how do we use the monitoring tools so there are monitoring tools like nagios new relic etc a devops engineer will have knowledge about all these so typically a devops engineer will have vision and will have visibility in all these stages all these phases and will understand the complete process the process is being followed by each stage each phase and the tools being used in each stage and each phase and by each team of the project so this is what a devops engineer is now when we talk about a typical devops engineer role so here we can say uh, we have already seen a devops engineer works in both development and operation processes and here building and testing comes under the development part and deployment and monitoring maintenance comes under the operation part so a devops engineer works in both development and operation processes and he or she should have knowledge of the processes followed by each team and each stage along with the tools used and here uh the role varies in different organizations so what we are discussing now here is at a very high level in different projects and different organization this role can vary based on the tools and the processes being used at a high level a devops engineer will have knowledge about the coding the scripting programming language used infrastructure management process and tools system administration process and tools testing release and monitoring process and tools so this is what a typical devops engineer role looks like now if you talk about how you can become a devops engineer and what are the skills required to become a devops engineer so we have already discussed at a high level and if you talk about specifically the devops engineer skill and role you will be uh, you should know a coding programming language a scripting language and linux fundamentals here uh, you can select any programming language if you have no choice uh, you can go with python and then if you can understand and also learn shell scripting that will be awesome we have ci cd process so here you can learn tools and platforms for ci cd like jenkins where we can do build test deploy etc then configuration management process and tools here you can learn chef puppet and sibel etc and you should understand what is the configuration management process why do we do it then container process and tools like docker orchestration process and tools like kubernetes then system architecture and provisioning process and tools here you can learn aws azure terraform so these are the platforms we use for system architecture and provisioning and then for monitoring you can learn nagios new relic etc so any monitoring tools and as i said that these tools these processes may differ with organization the requirement in one project can be different from what is the requirement of the tools in another project or another organization but in case you are trying to uh, develop yourself grow yourself as a general devops person who can uh, get uh, who can go into any of the devops team and can start working there you can learn one of the tools from each of these phases and then as per the project requirements you can learn more so this is how you can become a devops engineer now a very important question that can there be a single person who knows everything and he's expert in all the processes all the stages all the tools the answer to this is yes and no they can be a senior person who has worked across the teams and he has he has acquired knowledge and skills of different tools and platforms and processes in each of these phases and stages and he can become a uh, a devops engineer or can become a senior devops person and he can take care of the entire devops uh, process but generally there are uh, people who are specific to each stage so for example they can be a person who will take care of the all the building process and will communicate it to the person who is taking care of the next stage so they can be people who are uh who can be uh, given responsibility of each stage and then communicating and taking care of all the communication between each of these phases and then there can be a devops manager or a devops evangelist who will coordinate between all these experts all these people and then this will form the complete devops process so they can be both of the ways and if you can learn 
and grow yourself as a person who has visibility in each of these stages, who understands the process, the dev process, the testing process, the deployment process, the monitoring process, and has a uh, hands-on experience with at least one tool or platforms in each of these stages, then you can become a really, really good DevOps engineer. So this is how you can uh, become a DevOps engineer. I hope this was very useful for you. If you have any question for me, you can let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any thoughts on this video, you can also let me know in the comment section. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.